Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another inking video. In this video, I'm doing the line work for Nina the Killer. Such an original name. Which is a new creepypasta I'm working on. And before you start complaining, I know the creepypasta is terrible. I'm going to try and fix it. I've found a condensed version, and then I'm going to try and add to that and expand upon it a little bit. And hopefully make it not as because I know the first one is terrible, it's a fan-made one, it's just a copy of Jeff the Killer. I know that, and agree, so let's just get that out of the way. I just thought this would be a fun character to draw. She's a crazy psychopath fangirl, murdering, stitch my eyes open, cut my mouth open, kind of crazy girl. So, who doesn't want to draw that? Because I definitely do, and I hope you guys enjoy how it turns out. I think it'll be a fun one to colour, it should look pretty cool. So that's why I did it. Not because of the story, I'm an artist, I like drawing certain things, I wanted to draw this. <sighs> Rant over, let's get on with it. We're kicking off October, which is my favourite month. Well, one of my favourite months. It's spring in Australia, which is where I live. So the weather starts getting nice, I really like it. Spring weather's the best because it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's kind of just nice in between. Plus I'm born in October, so you know, <laughs> best month. Also in October, any of you guys who are part of the art community will know that Inktober is about to take over your Instagram feed and you'll just be seeing black drawings done with inking, which is always awesome. That wasn't bitter at all, was it? No, I think Inktober is cool. I think it motivates a lot of people to do a drawing every day, which is always good, but it gets a little bit tiresome just seeing all these inking drawings in my opinion, but I am an extremely bitter person, as you guys might have found out by now. <laughs> Every day is f***ing Inktober for me. I'm always doing line works. Nothing really changes, but I like to colour them as well. I could class this video as an Inktober video if I wanted to be hip like everyone else. Maybe I should do that. Oh, I've got a bit of an attitude today. I'm eating some serious sour grapes. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just because I don't do Inktober and I see everyone else doing it and I'm just like... Uh, uh, I don't know. If you guys would be interested in seeing some inking videos, which are like completed drawings just using line work and inking, maybe let me know, because I'm definitely not going to be doing an inking video a day, or an inking drawing a day, but I might do, like, say, one video for Inktober the whole month. I might just do a special video for that. I don't really know. It could be kind of cool. I thought some horror drawings just with inking would actually be kind of cool, and I could actually narrate a creepypasta over the top, but just do it all in inking. That's kind of an idea. I'm not too sure. I have all these ideas. It's kind of a different matter about actually getting them done. So, yeah. <laughs> not much to say about that. Artist life. Alright, I've been pretty negative so far in this video, so I'm going to try and flip it around and be a bit more positive. Talk about some cool things that have been happening lately. I've been getting so many positive comments and messages saying how much I've motivated you guys. Really nice comments in general and messages. It's been pretty... I was going to say touching, but that just sounds so lame. It's been really motivating for me though, just hearing that some of these videos have an impact on you guys, which is kind of crazy because... I'm just some dude who's drawing in my room. And it's really cool that the videos I make actually help some of you guys out. Or they're just cool to look at. Whatever you get out of it, that's cool. I'm completely happy with that. I just think it's really cool that we've got this positive cycle going on. I make videos, you guys might have a chuckle at it, or get motivated to pick up the pencil and do some more drawing. Then you guys give me positive feedback, and that in turn motivates me to keep making better videos and inflating my ego and making me into a complete douchebag as my channel grows, thinking that I'm more superior than other people with smaller channels. I'm joking. It's always been pretty important to me to stay grounded. I don't like people who get big egos from things which really don't matter in the biggest scheme of things. It's just a number. As awesome as it is having so many people watch your videos, it doesn't really make you a better person than anyone else. I always try and treat people with the same amount of respect, whether they've got 5 subscribers or 500,000. It doesn't really change who the person is, so I always try and keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with looking up to someone who's achieved a lot of stuff, but you gotta remember they're just a person as well. 
they laugh at stupid jokes, they make mistakes. I mean, we're all human here. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I guess I'm just trying to say don't sell yourself too short because you think that you'll never achieve what other people have. Some people get really negative about themselves, saying how bad they are at things and I'll never be like this person and really that's not the attitude you want to have. If you put in the work, you can. Just don't make the excuse saying that, you know, that you're never good enough because you are. You just need to put in the work and stick with it and believe in yourself because you can't rely on anyone else believing in you. Sometimes you'll have awesome friends and family who will support you and believe in you, but sometimes you won't. So it's up to you to believe in yourself and just get it done. Whatever it might be, hammer away at your passion and you'll achieve it if you put in the time. Simple as that. I'm kind of just rambling, getting a little bit too deep here. <laughs> now I'm just finishing off the line work just lightly kind of sketching in where the blood splatters are going to go. Most of that's going to be done with the colouring itself, so the line work isn't that important, but I like to sketch it in there so I have a rough idea when I start colouring. I hope you guys enjoyed how the drawing's looking so far. I think it's going to look really cool once it's coloured, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I think this Friday's video is going to be the narrated version of my bloody painter drawing. So I know a bunch of you guys have already seen the drawing process, but I talk about some cool stuff, I have a bit of a horror rant, just talk some trash and the usual shenanigans that I talk about, so definitely check that out. I think it's a pretty cool video, if I do say so myself. Lots more videos are planned, just heaps of stuff. If you want to keep up to date with my artwork and see some photos of my drawings and works in progress, definitely check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting a lot of stuff there, so have a look at that. Follow me if you like what you see. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. I really appreciate all the support. And like always, I will catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video. What he saw was a hotel bedroom, like his. And in the corner was a woman whose skin was incredibly pale. She was leaning her head against the wall facing away from the door. He stared in confusion for a while, 